that I gave you actually is okay for the graphic. Oh, should I pull? Oh, they had the stuff? they have the winners. They didn't. They updated the winner graphic. Team Black wins. I mean, you can have it open. This is what we're going to talk about. This with the topic. Uh, if is. I have it, if I have it open, it makes me look so. I'm just gonna. Warm. I'm just gonna take yeah, this vod. I'm just gonna take this vod okay. and download it and upload it, so that we can. It's like effectively the same thing. Oh, so oh, you're okay. gonna stream it. Um... But it doesn't. It isn't effectively the same thing because it doesn't have the graphic. If you yeah, if you download the vault, all what you have you to mean? do is just cut out the first like two hours. I'm looking at the stream right no. now. You're just streaming. He's just gonna download the vault off Twitch. I just restarted. Oh, you mean no? I just don't have the thing on. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. So we're just gonna stream it, and then you're gonna save the vault, and then you're gonna cut it and upload it. Got it. Yeah. All right, that's cool. Oh yeah, I need more water. I'm, these chips are so salty. Okay, oh, yeah. Go oh. get anything you're gonna need, like water. Oh. Uh... Do you guys want anything? What? Are you going to get us something? <laughs> yes. Yes, please. Give me a pineapple and jalapeno pizza. Oh, yo, I have another one right here, too. That sounds really delicious. Who plays on Tuesday? I mean, I guess everybody plays on Tuesday. You mean who plays first? Mm, yeah, I guess that's what I meant. Pink because versus white! Fuck! Oh my god, you can see, really see it from the side, my hair is so long. If yeah, you guys, it's, um, it's good. If, if you guys hear me drop out in the middle of it, you know why. Okay. Bye. Why? why? No, we don't. <laughs> why? What? Why? Yeah, why? What? Okay. <laughs> it's, <not discussed. laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, we can get to it. Take us away. Okay, okay. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome, episode six of Delight There with Boomy and Taza. Our special guest today, Silly Gobi. Wait, how's it going? And Egg Soup. This is episode six. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it's technically episode seven, but we're counting from zero. Yeah. So. You guys told me I was going to be on the first one. Well, saying. we tried, then you yeah. bailed. Then you bailed. I didn't bail. You, you definitely bailed on bailed. me. Okay. Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, uh, so... Thank you, everybody, like, for damn. being to this live recording, as it always is on twitch.tv slash boomyxd. Yup. We are going to be talking about the North American Pro Series today. We've got three competitors in it, and one spectator. It's myself. Yeah. They're all on different teams. we got the red team, the black team, and I'm pretty sure it was... I was the blue team. team. It was blue team. Yeah. yeah. And you were with, so is it Egg Soup was with LDZ and Pugsy, Boomy was with Sandstorm and Remy, and Silly Gobi over here. Over Starlight here. Starlight and Trophies. Yeah, Starlight and Trophies. And we're going to talk about a lot of things about our first impressions of the Pro Series, just with North America. Um, I wrote down a really incomplete list because I just want to make sure that we have like different angles to ask questions. It's like, it's like as I was writing down the list, it's like that thing that you would ask. Um, any any intro to psychology class it's like what was it for what did it do what was it not supposed to do but i actually think they're all really good questions so i'm gonna just start with this list and then we'll tangent from there um unless you want to start somewhere boomy but i think it's a good thing to start with trying to figure out like what what was pro series for like why yeah. why did it happen this year why didn't it happen any other year and why was this year a good year to start it would well starting off uh, I'm not sure why they didn't do it beforehand, to be honest. I feel like maybe it's just, like, a more recent idea. But yeah. I think how it went down and, like, how early it happened this year was super good. Because now, potentially, there's more time in this year to test it in case True. they want to continue it. What do you think, and, Paul? And, and, uh, well, and that was, like, that that was, like, what to do. I guess I was thinking that, like, my, my perspective of what it was before when I was looking at it was, like, um, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Brawlhalla is very unique as, like, a fighting game because of how team-based it is or how, like, much it celebrates the 2v2 and team aspect of things. So it's, like, taking advantage of the fact that, hey, people actually like doubles in, in this video game. Why not make it into an actual thing? That's what I felt like it was. And I thought it did really well. Yeah. 3v3s? Do you want... Should we do more 3v3s? Oh, no. Anyways. We'll okay. talk about that later. Okay. Yeah. So, that's a different time. I'm saying it like I'm the host. Like, ah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm already tangenting it too much. Uh, Guys, welcome to my podcast. <laughs> the Egg Soup Podcast, Delight Egg. 
That would just work. You just put any word after <laughs> yeah. daylight, and that's like, the podcast. Yeah, the dumb like corn. Um, oh, yeah, so it's something that could have happened earlier, but it's nice that it's happening now. It feels a little experimental. Um, how how did you, I wish I had a better outline for this now because I have so many different questions. Okay, so don't Where worry, do I got it. Here, here, yeah, here, can I start? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, right. Paul. Let's hear it. Okay, so <laughs> so we should start with <laughs> you in the middle of chewing with how it formed, and I think we should t- start with like how teams were formed because I know okay. I know Gobi, you have like some gripes with it, so. So how it worked? Well, yeah. Okay. So so how it worked was the highest power ranks player got to choose his two teammates, and then the next highest power ranks player got to choose his two teammates. And it went it on. Went away. Yeah. So went it, and then it, it went on until all eight teams were formed, and so that creates like a huge power like team strength issue. Was there a limit to like um how do I put it like so average say... rank or something? Boomy, you're power rank one, right? And it's like, okay, you could choose your next two teammates, but the disparity has to be this many spots. Yes, no. No. So no, maybe you no could restriction. start from eight, and then you could start from six. So you could just pick two and three if you wanted yes, to. So, and... Yeah, he picked two. So that's the issue, right? Because, okay. well, I think Gobi could go into it too, because he kind of got like shafted in that term, in that part, because like the teams weren't really even. But the like the idea that the best player can pick the second best player and the third best player... Third. Is mm-hmm. a huge, huge problem, but uh, the on the other side, I don't think BMG really wants players to not be able to play with who they want to, you know. Right. Well, and, yeah. oh, go and ahead, that's go why whenever I was saying my argument back whenever we were first talking about this, I can see both sides of the argument. I can see the power imbalance. I can also see the fact that you want to play with who you want to play with, but I don't know. It, well, especially for me, the, our team, Starlight Tropius, and well, me. It didn't get formed until the later end. We didn't even hear about it. I mean, Starlight didn't even hear about that like, this was a thing until our teams have already been picked for the most part. We were like one of the last teams to get picks in. So, oh, so it didn't even all happen like at it once. Didn't all yeah, happen at once. Yeah. So there wasn't like uh, everybody gathered into a room or a Discord call or whatever, and it's like, okay, you go, you go, like this. Like, yeah, no. it, makes me, it makes me think of like selecting teams at like a PE class yeah. in high school, you know, like it's just like all right, everybody picked everybody from the from the class one after another, but instead it was just kind of like okay, you pick all your friends, you pick from the remaining friends. Yeah, why, you see, I think the yeah. reason why they did it like that was because it was such a new idea, and they wanted to keep it as as down low as possible. That's why they well, went in order it, of like you get the. Or you there's a logistical first, thing too. Oh, like, that egg? If PR one picks another PR player in the top eight, and mm-hmm. PR9 gets the next spot, you know what I'm saying? And so if they had eight people in a Discord server, more people would just have to be added in. Right. Yeah. So I couldn't, couldn't really say that. Unless they change it. I mean, it all depends on what the ultimate goal is. If it's to be a super competitive event, then yeah, I think it should be changed. But if the goal is to be entertainment, if, you know, just put on a show, then I think... Honestly, it's better to have imbalanced teams. Like, way, yeah. way better. But it, it, it's all about what the end goal is. I think, mm. I think even if it's, like, supposed to be super competitive, it's still good to have some, like, weaker teams and some really strong teams. But I think yeah, that should happen more naturally. So I kind of want to ask you, Gobi, like, if you were to choose, like, had you, like, known that this was happening, what would your team have been? Uh, I don't think, well, you see, it depends on who was available to pick because the reason why Starlight went with me and Atropius is because he knew that uh, we were two people that would make it on time and be there and ready to play. Yeah. Mm. And so if there was, if everybody knew what was going on and all the people that could potentially be picked were, like, knew they could be picked, it could have been a completely different story. Yeah. It, it's interesting because... Um... Egg brought some really good points, which is like, what is the objective of the pro series in the moment? Yes, Taza. How are they to reach it? So I want to add more onto that because at first I was thinking, ooh, this is a competitive integrity. It's not being met here. It should have been balanced based off power ranking, yada, 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 right? But also this was like a month-long league. It wasn't a year-long thing. Yeah. It was the first time that they were ever doing anything. So of course they would want the people playing with each other to enjoy each other's company. 
Because if you got put into a situation where like Boomy got drafted by somebody who's never played with before and doesn't even know, right? That that could also be an issue. Uh, these things happen in team games like League or Overwatch, but they're also franchised five-person teams where that's part of the culture. This is a 1v1 fighting game. Not quite the same yet. So there's that argument that, yes, you want to go for the friend element for the first time through. Um, it's interesting. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of listed a bunch of stuff, but do you get what I'm trying to paint with that picture? I got you, Taza. Yeah. Anything to add on to what I'm saying so far? It, it felt like it was like, here's the thing that we want to try to do. We don't know if it's going to work. Best way we can do it is get everybody who's comfortable with each other to play with each other and then make a pro series out of it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. it's definitely something that was in the testing phases because there was stuff that was, even while the pro series was going on, there was changes that were being talked about and stuff that we're already talking about for the future. Right. Because there also had to be like, is there even a viewer incentive to this and there was the 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 reception for it was insane actually and i, I enjoyed think, yeah, it I so much it was, it was good the really. teams didn't even have like emblems or actual names it was just colors and people were making memes and chants about it it was amazing team red, red became team, like, red like this weird <laughs> underdog uh fan favorite within the first week and well it that's was the thing too is, like, is i think it's also a lot is up to the players to spin it like Okay, I don't want to seem like I'm coming off as, like, you know, whatever, but I do think that, like, just spinning red team was a big thing because very easily as a viewer, you could look at the team of LDZ and Egg and then Pugsy. Like, LDZ and Egg, obviously, like, big names in the community, maybe not necessarily any favorite whatsoever, but if you look at them, you're probably going to know them, so you're probably going to think they're going to do well if you don't know anyone else. So spinning red team, like, as a... As a meme or oh my god, as a meme or whatever is like something that I intentionally did that. Like okay. it's it's not a it's not something of just like Marketing. obviously it does it, yeah it does happen naturally to a certain extent. Growing but I think brand. a lot of it is also up to the players to like ride off of that. And I think the platform or whatever the series gives room for that. Having Provides team, the opportunity. Yeah, it, it's so it's possible. something that's never happened in Brahala and something I think Brahala really really benefits from players specifically and, and it was cool because you had little team storylines like uh purple team with their 1v9s i don't know yeah. what was what <laughs> you didn't have to bring it up Taza. i you mean you didn't have to bring it up well i did i did have to bring it up uh but that was you like they did, so. six, yeah my first and last one Another thing, though, I think is like sorry to cut you off Taza, but <laughs> i didn't have anything else that yeah. was just like i was just reminding egg of that atrocity but that actually happened but what was cool about that is because purple team did it then they were talked about for being able to do that and then it kept happening yeah like memeing and... aside the fact that it opens up something for that for purple team is really cool yeah. yeah but yeah so another thing i think that is super unique about this is that in a league it gives room for the players to like drastically grow their social media presence and like contribute to it on social media because, like, with one-off tournaments, it's either you're hyping yourself up beforehand, or you're saying you won after, or you, you're salty after, or you say GG's. And, but with this, it's like, you can seriously build up hype on social media, which I think is super unique and super good moving forward. Yeah, you know, the, oh, go ahead. You, I, I was just going to say, because also, it's like a length of time, it's not a singular tournament whatever you build up on social media is compounded. It's not yeah. just, like, a one-time thing. Yeah. True. Sorry, Taza. Did I make you lose your chance, Bob? No, no I, was, I was thinking about what you just said, and I think it actually had to add on to what I was talking about, was that it's, like, if, say, Pro Series Season 2 or whatever, if it happens, comes out, and it's longer, uh, it uh, opens up opportunities for rivals or matches to look forward to. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like I want to see the rematch between Team Purple and Team Orange or whatever. And and you we didn't really get that because everybody just played each other once. Yeah. Each format also, they're in different done. leagues, Taza. They're also in different. Yeah. Okay. They're in different See? leagues, but you called yourself a spectator, but now you're. This <laughs> guy, dude. Okay. Oh my god. Also, Team Red basically was Team Orange with the color on the on the graphic, and you know it. Anyways. What do you mean? I mean, okay. it looks like... You guys are actually dumb. Oh but God. the point was, is God. that there was no... The, they didn't go long enough for rematches to happen, which would have been cool because it was like, is this going to be a blowout? Is this going to be a 2-0 over, like, you know, Team Black versus 
fight or is it going to go one and one and then they're going to have more opportunities for a tiebreak um just a month long not enough time to see it but the potential is there as you said the talk over social media compounds each yeah. and every week yeah so i think we should we you kind of like started talking about the format there i think we should like put that off after we talk sure. about yeah so another thing i think is super important to talk about is the seating and how everything went down. I okay, think yeah. the captain needs to be the sole determiner of the seed. Because how it went down here, um, I picked Sandstorm and Remy, and then Isidru picked Phazon and Cody, and we were in the same pool. And they ended up at seed four. Which <laughs> is a huge problem. Yeah. So how it, how it was calculated is it was the average overall power rank. Of the, the, oh, of the yeah. team? Yeah. Of the team, yeah. Okay. That can... I think that should just be changed. I don't why, really... why, why did you see that as being a problem? Just because of the results of, of how it happened? In... Well, well, a good if... example is Cody. Oh, yeah. you want to talk about it with me? Yeah, so, if... so in theory, right, the second, like, the second pick is going to get the second best team, right? So yes, why should yeah. the second best team be in the same pool as the first best team? Ah, that's a good question. Ah, Wait, that, were they right, second pick? I thought Wrench was second seed. No, no. It's well, was Boomy. seed three. Yeah. Boomy. Oh. So if people were allowed to choose their spot, what if there was a an issue with people wanting the same spot? How would they like, go about that? What do you mean by that? So like, say you want seed one and another person wants seed one. How would, how would you... Just whoever has pi- higher power ranking yeah, gets a spot? Yeah, higher power ranking. You know... Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I haven't really thought this through, but maybe I think other league, other esports do this. It's like the top seed gets to pick a certain person for like a certain team. Yeah, for their group. yeah, I've seen that. Like too. that, that might work. Like but, if you're seed one, you get to pick another team, and then seed two gets to pick a team for their group, and they alternate. I know what you're talking about. Uh, I always, every time we're talking about esports, I always bring up StarCraft too. But they do that for GSL, where it's like you're kind of picking the people that you fight against in the group. Yeah. And that ends up balancing it out because you're, you're you're trying to target people that, yeah, they might challenge you, but you're only worried about beating two out of the three people that you pull in. So, like, yeah. if you're watching top 16 GSL groups, Maru, super crazy Terran player, is going to try to pick players that he wants in his group. But there's also the tactic of, like, picking a player you don't want in your group because they might trade them off later. Like, you can steal a player from another group into another person's group, depending on how the system goes. And they make a whole hour or two hour long video that you can find the VODs of. On their channel, like that system, that. and yeah. that's just even more content. Yeah, and and you get the player interactions of like, no, 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 you don't want me in your group. I'm gonna kick your ass, and then they're like they're actually terrified. <laughs> yeah, I think that could be a be a be a solution, but yeah, I don't know. I didn't mean to derail it. Sorry. Uh, although I guess that's what I've been doing this whole time. Well, ah, derailing is fine. It was kind of a topic. It was it was talking about the format of of how things were seated and how that could potentially solve some yeah, things. I mean, but Boomy's original point, which was fine, the the just generalizing their seed based off of all three players' power ranking, not so hot. Yeah. I also, okay, so on the on the same note, do you guys think there should be a cap on how low of a power rank you can go to choose? No, I don't think so. No, because if, if you want to pick whoever to you, you right? want, you should be able to pick whoever you want and not be limited yeah. to that. Right, right, right. And, obviously, like, if you're trying to win, then you're not going to pick, like... Someone who drowned in pools. Uh, uh, all these he drowned in pools. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Like someone that's not... You don't think can, can compete at that level. It's yeah. so it's so tough because... Part of me was supposed to be like, you just pick your team's your team. Your team's whatever you want to be, right? Mm-hmm. Um, because if I look at any other game, what, what's another 3v3 game? Battle right, right? They're pro series. It's not like they... They uh, have a pool of really good players, and then everybody picks from that pool. No, you just got a team of people you like to play with together, and you fought. I guess it's a little different because this was sort of a league. That's completely different. You're right. This isn't. So. This game. So the example. That, right? the, the example I have is like Effie is power rank like 70 or something like that. Okay. I feel like that might be too low. I feel like that's just like. Are you enough. talking about like qualifying to play? Yeah, qualifying to play. Oh I, I think it's. And it, like. I think Santi is okay because he was seed thirty six or powering thirty six. But I feel like going, 
Go ahead. What if it's a person right. that was like Hazen, who's an upcoming player, and they yeah, a, a yeah. team really wants to or, pick that kind of person because they're like, oh, this guy's starting to show himself. Why not give him another opportunity? He's starting to prove himself. See what he can do. And it's the reverse too. If he's someone who just hasn't played for a while, and then he came back, and then obviously he did well the other yeah, day. Yeah. So. I don't think there should be a cap. I, th- I think that's like. I don't know. It's, it's just an arbitrary thing. thing. Yeah, I feel like the solution is not even like about the cap it's like you have qualifiers for the thing instead of just yeah. choosing it but qualifiers get so weird because yeah like i think people just placing it and not wanting to play too although i don't think that would happen i guess a qualifier would just solve a lot of those problems like you'd have like the top 16 invited players and then you would have 16 quali- qualifiers from a tournament yeah and then that place well that. in that tournament yeah, or, or you just go based off the placements in the tournament in order from top to bottom. Yeah. Just off whoever accepts it, and you just have one of them. That okay. might work. Yeah. But we can go back to that, that later. No. Well, what were you going to say before we move on? Uh, Nothing. I was going to say they were lagging. I didn't hear what you were saying. Oh, yeah, okay. Kind of oh, I was lagging? Am I good now? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're good now. Okay, no. so I think moving on, we should talk about, like, well, we three played, so I think we should... First talk about the crew battle, and then twos, and then, like, overall how it felt to actually play. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I think, starting off, I think the time slot needs to be bigger, and maybe moved to weekends. But, yes, Egg. Uh, I can agree with that. So I'm raising my hand. Oh. Yes, yes, go ahead. Uh, so, we talked about this in the Pro Series Discord. Uh, four stocks. Mm. Four you, stock, you're no, four you're a proponent you're a proponent of that. I'm a big proponent of the four stock. And this is for wow. crew battle per is, per person. Per person. Okay. So it's twelve instead of nine. Why would you say that? Do I do I need to argue my? Well, I think yes, for one, do. it's it's more gameplay. Okay. Like just in general, the amount of gameplay per like in total, the time slot was like okay. There's a whatever two hour stream. The amount of time that was filler to fill those two hours was like, yeah, all right. yep. And it if was it was, a lot of if it was four stuff. stocks, it would, the the gameplay time would be like here. So that's just like a logistical thing: is that we did need to fill a lot more time just to make the slots. Uh, so that so that's like one thing. Another thing is I think a crew battle format because it's you only play one time. Like you're never gonna be playing again. It's essentially you're you're watching a best of one of a player, yeah. And so if you're a viewer that's really engaged, you might only see like a little bit, and so that's like a thing for engagement. And then number three, I think it just helps out storylines a lot and, and helps like, engage in the crew battle a lot. Like a two, if you lose one stock in a crew battle, it's like you're playing two versus three or like two versus one or whatever, and that's just something like in a normal match. But if you're watching someone with four stocks and they like clean up. A, four from another person and they're left with two still like the the amount that one player can do is like increased by so much and vice versa like the amount that it would take to make a comeback is that much more so it's that much cooler and you don't think that it hurts the uh, a kind of argument that i could see that's not mm-hmm. necessarily mine is that brahalla is traditionally played with three stocks no matter what yeah and so having this increase could just throw people off entirely. It's not a big deal. So. Not, not, yeah. not a big enough problem to say, hey, don't do this. I think because it's a special mode itself, it's not a problem. Like, okay. crew battles are very different from a normal game. So the crew battle mode would be, because it's a series of best of ones, yeah. it's a four-stock match. Yeah. Because your best of ones really count, and then you have more stock economy to work with, and, and yeah, have more I, opportunities for comebacks, too. I think it's just a lot... Not cleaner, but there's a lot more to follow or a lot more potential to follow when there's more to work with in general. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that, that's just me. I mean, there are counter arguments and they're, they, are, they are valid, but I'm a, I'm a four-stock propo- propo- proponent. Is that a word? Yeah. Promoter? <laughs> happy boy. Supporter. I'm a four-stock happy um, boy. I, I think I know what you're trying to say, but I can't remember the word. Silly Gobi, do you have an uh, opinion on that? Four an opinion just on, in general, crew battles? For for four stocks specifically. For four stocks. Well, you see, my only issue with the four stocks is: Do you think we could do four stocks in in, in under eight minutes with how it was no, played? Just increase the timer. Yeah, that's crew, crew battles traditionally, at least in Smash, they have, have a no 99, timer. A ninety-nine minute timer. Yeah. Uh, 
because so you're not it's just, a non factor. Because what I was going to say was, people, whenever they're playing in a crew battle, every stock's important. So they're going to yeah. try to make it last as long as possible. There so was four stocks time. probably wouldn't last eight minutes. I remember the first EU crew yeah. battle match I watched. Yeah. It went to like the last that, that's minute. A good point. And it was like, oh, oh, geez, they're really, they're really dragging this yeah. out. <laughs> so mm. I don't mind the four stock change. We would just have to make the time change to accommodate. Yeah. It. Just make it 15 minutes. And then, so like it's basically a non-factor. And I, but I agree with everything that you said. That's the only issue that I have with it. Otherwise, I'm cool with no, that. That's fair. That's fair. I, I didn't really think about that. So yeah. Boomy. I kind of, I understand it, but I feel like the, the weight of each individual game is still too high, and I, I like best of three way more because at least Me too. if you lose, you still have another chance. Like, if you totally yeah. flop in one game. You still have another, like, part, another whole, like, crew battle. So I think what would you say back. to change that? Would you say to make the, the total time of one set go be longer so you can have that best yeah, of three? Yeah, I, I was going to say, like, stocks of three to two? I think best of three crew battle is the best possible, but I just don't think that that'll fit the time. Well, I don't know. So something I would pro- suggest is increase the amount of teams and then only play one game mode per week. So that you can do Tuesday and Thursday and do best of three crew battles. Hmm. And then not have every team play every day. No, you get, yeah, exactly. You play, you have one team play every week. Yeah. And then you don't have the scheduling nightmare of having to make sure everyone's available all the time. All, all yeah, the exactly. Time. I think that, yeah, I think that could, that, that's good. Okay. So say you increase um, the, go ahead before I go. Yeah. So, I mean, this is something that you guys can't answer, but the, the thing with that is that, no, like you'd be doubling the length of the season without doubling the length of the season. If that makes right, sense, right? Yeah. That. Um, so that's just like a thing for production. Again, nobody here has an answer for that, but that's just like some kind of counter argument to that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I think my vision for this might be different than a lot of other people's. Is I honestly think this could like totally overtake for Hall of Esports and just become like the standard. Like, have two seasons of this every year like six months, three months each season, and then in the time between, you just have the traditional 1v1 and 2v2 tourneys. During the summer when the school years out. Yeah, yeah and then... I can, like, I see where you're coming from. Just in, like, leagues are always bigger yeah. in, in general. And, leagues, uh, and they the also provide is, security, like, too. And for it does, yeah. Orgs instantly come when there's leagues. Yeah, so. there's, there's a lot of benefits to it. I think, it, like, what you said of overtaking is, like, I don't know. I, in my ideal world, they'd, they'd be equal. Just because yeah. I think having the open tournament is so important and so big to staying rooted to the community and everything like that. Yeah. Because when you have a league that's, what is it, exclusionary? Is that a word? Exclusive. 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 It, it already, like, provides this separation between the player, like, the average tournament player and, like, the pro player. Which, like, whether yeah. or not you like that is, like, another thing, but... I think having that open tournament experience where they can meet up at the same level is is just like I think that's so important. Like that just provides so much positivity to the community. So but, let, I don't know. Let's go back to the whole expanding pro league into a, a year long thing, uh, and just talk about the format of pro league as it is right now with its two uh, three ish game types. So we talked about the crew battles. Stock oh, yeah. increase is a possibility, but. Let's say we keep it at three stocks. Did you say you want a best of three of crew battles? Yeah. Or just yeah, no, a no, best no. of or just a best of three of one v ones where like of crew best battles. of three of crew battles, yeah. Okay. And that oh, would be actually, like Sorry, yeah. there 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 is one more thing I wanted to um say about the, the length. I didn't mean to interrupt, my bad. Um I think having something like a year long or a six month long I think ideally, or like in the future, that's a really great idea. But right now, Brahala is so volatile and so new. Like, if we had a pro league, like last year, like I don't think Ethan or Sandstorm, if it started at like January first, I don't think either of them would have been able to play in it if it was just like cut off for the whole year. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. That, so I, that, that's sayable about every new year where there's a new player. Yeah, I guess so. But I think, like. But you're saying if it had a, a two priority. month or a three month thing, at least right now for Brahala, for okay. how new it is, I think that would be way better. Yeah, a three um, month I think is ideal. Yeah. Like three like, months of pro season, series. 
Yeah. And then you could tie it in with the rank seasons. Yeah. Everything like that. Sorry, I yeah. I again, I didn't mean to. Well, I, I I love that. I want to talk about that more later, but I want to make sure that we uh, we get to the, the yeah, formats yeah. of like as it is. The crew battles thing is okay. Make it best of threes. Ship it right. And then, is there any question about having traditional one v ones be a part of the format outside of the crew battles or no? Oh, honestly, I'd love replacing crew battles with one v ones, but. The issue is it's not a team thing anymore, yeah. so yeah. you can't you, do that. You, you could do no, because that's just crew battles. No, yeah, so you're right. so so how two v two works is it's okay because yeah. no player can play enough. Okay, actually that's a lie. So we'll get into it, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the next that's the next thing I want to so, bring up. Let's so, get the one v ones out yeah, of the way. So Let's go to the, the issue with having that is one player can solo win the win the entire thing for them. If like say it's a best of five. And mm -hmm. you just play the same player would, over and over again. So you you would do like Sandstorm wins, I lose, Sandstorm wins, Remy loses, Sandstorm wins. Or something like that. Oh, for the current 2v2 format. For the 1v1 format. If, for, if, if, if we oh, move to best of 5, like 1v1, I see. something like that. I see. Yeah. Okay. And then it, but if it's best of 3, then we're left in the same scenario and like problem that we have now. Yeah. Is that each game matters too much. So, so I think having, crew, battle, I think battles is crew battles is the most, yeah. Okay, Ideal. so crew battle stays no matter what. Good. On the 2v2s, um, my first comment on that is I felt like it was too fast. Yeah, way too yeah, fast. Yeah, 100%. I, I it needs to be the, best of five. I think Boda told us that the the time issue for 1v1 was there. So like that's why we were talking about four stocks or best of three. But the time issue for 2v2 was so much more. Yeah, because well, like, if you, if a best of three happens and yeah. it's a 2 0 and it... It's just over. two v twos could be over really fast because yeah. you can't really extend that as much as you want. Like a crew right. battle is already a minimum of three games, which is longer than in a two L. Yeah, and and you're right; it's a minimum of three games, and it only actually happened once. All right, <laughs> dog, you didn't need to bring it up again. <laughs> but but well, usually, you're, you're usually, it usually you have to queue up a lobby and have you know <laughs> the setup of like who are they going to send in, whatever. It has that spectacle. It's very fun. There's a, there's counter picking both in players and in legends, et cetera, et cetera. And that's uh, what I loved about like this whole uh, this whole pro series is that the, there's a lot of strategy involved, especially yeah. at team yeah. specific matchups. Like there's some players that play really well against one person on that team, but if they get the other team switches up and puts in a different person that actually counters the person that the first team was putting in, throws them off completely. Mm -hmm. I just love that kind of strategy. Also gives that a lot to production, a lot of room to do their magic. Yeah, and stats is another thing that we haven't really talked about yet, but if it's just 1v1s, wait, is that what we're still talking about? I kind of zoned out. Yeah. No, yeah. no, we were talking about two. Well, we're just talking but... in general. Yeah, yeah. So, so if it's the more like opportunities people have to play, the more stats that you can get. Which I think, like, really finding out who the best player is is like way easier. Like finding the middle grounds and stuff like that. Right. And which, admittingly, the stats were weak this time around because this is the first season. Yeah. And yeah. Just, like, yeah. Sure. It's so yeah. And and you were basically just pulling off like, oh well, he won last week or he lost last week. Yeah. And it, that it, was it was it. three three weeks, not including finals. Yeah. So yeah. that's but three, but the potential was very clear. It yeah. Was there, I I think if we just look at. Pro, I, I, I said pro league. I don't think I'm supposed to say that. Pro series, if we look at it without the numbers or without like anything like that, the idea was clearly a big success, which I think we should like. That's the biggest takeaway is that it works and it works really well. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Uh, it was it was really exciting. Uh, and we I think we kind of touched on that at the start, right? It's just like viewership with that for I think was unprecedented for Tuesday and Thursday night streams. Like, yeah. Like it was a, it was really great, and it had like an awesome timing. Even the EU Pro Series has a good timing right after the dev stream, just to go straight into it. So they already have like the viewers latching on into the next thing. Um, oh but we were God. talking that all that all came from time, and two v twos did not take up as much time as they needed. So yeah. I want to think about what what could be done differently so that happens. So the two v two format is yeah. this: is you send in a team of two people, and then you rotate out one player, and if it goes to game three, you rotate out the other. Correct. Yeah. So Boomy, well, well, there are problems with this, which Boomy kind of talked about earlier, which is like the importance of one game. Boomy had a potential solution that he talked about earlier. Do you want to bring that up, Boomy? I thought that was for one v ones. Or you have to like you have to win with every team. Oh, okay. So, oh, so okay. So we were actually talking about maybe. Am I allowed to say this? 
whatever. We were gonna like what? we were potentially gonna shift the format mid season because like it was that big of an issue. So nothing ended up happening obviously, but so there were like two main solutions and one of them was increasing to best of five, which is like majorly flawed. Or yeah, making making every team have to win. Which I, I think like is the best solution. Because that not okay, so there's one issue where one person can solo carry, which is one person can play four games in a best of five, mm -hmm. which is like what? No, and then in, yeah. in the other case, what we had now is one team doesn't even have to practice at all. Because you can just bank on your two better two teams. teams. Yeah. Yeah. And you and you could put the the one team that you didn't care about in the middle. Just in the middle. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or start with it, and it doesn't matter. So really, you were just like, okay, we're only going to win with these two teams, and then the other one doesn't have to practice. At least in that format, you have to have every, you have to have something prepared. Yeah, for so everything. And, and what's cool about that is it's kind of like a crew battle, but instead of going based off of stocks, you're going based off of team wins. Yeah. yeah. And then if you go the distance, and it's like everybody has one stock left, and you lose, you got to start over again. And play another game and try to win with that one. And the importance of working as a team with everybody is much higher. I already love that idea. Yeah. And it also the it presents like a really, really nice just like opening for a great comeback story. Cause you're gonna be watching the same like if you're down two, you're gonna be yeah, watching you can the reverse same sweep. Team three yeah, three times in a row. You're you're watching, can they do it this game? Can they do it this game? Can they do it this game? Uh so I think that itself is really cool. And it naturally fills the time because there has to be a minimum of three matches. Yeah. That's I it. think that actually solves everything. Uh, uh, I think I if, I if like, we brainstorm that. more if, or if we tested it out, there might be, like, potential issues. But just, like, thinking about it abstractly, I think that's the best solution. That's pretty cool. What yeah, because that's issues. Could there be? Um, in that type of... I don't know. I mean, it could be I can't think of it. Yeah. Imagine if team, like... Well, win, the longest win, it win, could win, be win, is like six what, matches. Like five five be, matches. It's the best five of matches. five. So oh, yeah. No, it's actually just the best of five with a nice restriction. Yeah. yeah, the longest it could be is like 24 minutes or something like that, like 25. Every could game is five tested? minutes. Yeah, but I think I think it eliminates the issue of the best of five with the current, the current format. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because the current for format sure. is basically what you said, but instead of per team, it's per player. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it, it Although actually they is, didn't even have to win, they just had to play. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is kind of like that with, like the added thing that you actually have to win. Like, yeah. like you can't just coast by. Okay, but so I that's, see what that's, you're that's crew battles and twos. Should threes be a format? No. I don't okay. Think so. No? so I I, I actually so. played it. I played it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I practiced it. <laughs> I mean, so I remember bad. gravy cancel it's Olympics twenty seventeen right, or whatever it was. <laughs> you see back then. And that was actually kind of hype, and it was ridiculous, and the stages were huge, and I was like, "Well, okay." I, but that's I, I remember I just enjoyed when it did whittle down to the one one. But anyways, what are you saying? Yeah, we'll let we'll, we'll, we'll Boomy talk on it. But yeah, yeah. Boomy. I mean, well, wait, were you on our team for Brawl Olympics or no? Like, mm -hmm. oh, uh, it was LDZ and Pugsy. Okay, so yeah, I played it back uh, then, and it was stupid. Stardust was. I played it back then, and it was stupid. Okay. I played it like three weeks ago. It was also stupid. It's just okay. everything you know about Brawlhalla goes out the window. When you play mm -hmm. 3v3, it's like totally different. Why is that why is that a bad thing? Okay, so it's this just goes back to the very beginning. Yeah. No, so is the goal competitive goes. or is the goal entertainment? If it's entertainment, I think there's an argument for 3v3. Sure. But here's the thing. I think so we saw one 3v3. And it was insanely like I'm not gonna deny it was so sick. But <laughs> But looking at the but looking at the context, right? You're breaking buoy. It was sick because <laughs> one it was off of Faison's comeback in 2v1 against Remy and Sandstorm. So, like, right. that, that we were riding off the energy of that. Two, it was the first time that we saw the 3v3. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of tacked on to two, but we never see 3v3. It, yeah. The novelty of it, I think, gives it so much of the hype. And if it were played a lot more, I think people would, I don't know. Would they would tap out it after game one. Yeah. I mean, that's me... sort of what happened anyway, is, like, Game two was so much less interesting. There was in um, there was a long time ago. I casted a Stevenator versus Straight to the Point Wilson match, and it went to timeout. And, and it was the first timeout that I ever casted. 
And I remember it actually got a lot of attention both in Twitch chat and then on the YouTube VOD later when I uploaded it because people thought it was insane. It was the first time it ever happened. Yeah. And a part of me went like, I want that to happen every time. But then the other one was like, this is the novelty of a timeout happening for the first time on stream. The next time it happens, everybody's going to leave because it is so awful, actually. And that's what it sounds like you described threes as to me. It's yeah, like watching yeah. a timeout Pretty happen much. over and over and again. And but the- I think, well, you go first, Billy. So I think there's also a super easy way to just totally eliminate it, which is increase the season length so tiebreakers don't happen as long, like, like as much, and then just make the tiebreaker format how we played the like finals or something like that. Okay, so make it like a, a third place match qualifier or something. Well, actually, which... now that I think about that, what that's can what I was going to bring up is the, that we need a tiebreaker. In the tie we breaker. need some kind of tiebreaker. Yeah. We need a tiebreaker. It has to happen. It doesn't matter if the season's 3 million years long. Yeah. Eventually there could be a tie. It's... So all the problems with 3v3, I th- or like the, the, not all the problems, but like some of the problems with 3v3 and like some of the things that could make it get stale, if it's only in the finals, then maybe, but then it also presents the thing of like you're winning by the 3v3, which is a whole other competitive deal got something, but, i yeah. have something for a tiebreaker we have the captains go out and play a, a 1v1 kind of like how we do with crew battles where you just decide who gets to pick first and they pick the game mode and whoever wins gets to pick the game mode oh like, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> see us in beach brawl goby oh man <laughs> no no i'm talking about competitive no, I, I, oh, I, know, I, know. I was thinking like no, I'm not talking about, we're not even talking about bomb skip ball out I here mean, kung <laughs> foot would be pretty hype then, but it would, it would... i, yeah, so I think like, i think there's something there yeah yeah so say like team Probably one wins they get to pick ones and then if they win again they can keep it ones but if they lose the other team if they're better at twos can switch it over to two so the counter pick becomes the game modes of the person yeah, the game modes of it yeah so that way, and the captains themselves, since they have the higher ranked players, get to duke it out. To and then would three v three be an option actually. in the counter picks? Probably not. Why not? I don't think anyone would pick it. So, yeah. but if someone there, does pick it, so yeah. okay. So uh, Taz is gonna understand this, but the uh, the explanation and like the reasoning behind the three v three, he compared it to blind pick game fives in old oh. LCK. League of Legends. Yeah. Z versus Z. Two Shens. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm out. So I, I may, maybe not a lot of people here follow League, but the the thing with with uh, an LCK, the Korean Pro Series, which is OGN, whatever back yeah, in the day, OGN. was that you had a best of five, and if by whatever reason I got the game five, instead of having a draft where you ban people's characters and you pick unique teams. Both teams just didn't know what anybody was picking, and the same characters could be picked on either side, and you just went into it, and it was a clown fiesta. Pro players hated it, but the crowd loved it. They loved it because you got moments like Faker versus Ryu, Zed versus Zed, same champion. Who's going to do better? Um, and it's it's still to this day remarked as one of the best, best things that ever all happened. Time. Yeah. And then afterwards it got removed, and people were really bummed out while pro players cheered. But the, the point is there, as Ace Soups would bring up over time over time again, What's the value there? Is it entertainment value or is it competitive integrity? Um, yeah, that's interesting. But and that's the reason behind the threes. With with Brahala, it's like if you have both of these, what what else can we do other than three v three as a tiebreaker? Like apart right. from re redoing the other game modes in some fashion, strike out. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I mean, oh, no, dude. it could be fun. What's wrong with Strikeout? You got a problem? That's how I get my daily I, missions done. I wouldn't done. say a problem, but, uh... Honestly, yeah, honestly, realistically, is a 3v3 even that bad? Like, doesn't the best team win always? No. But you see, with 3v3, <laughs> there's strategies like you saw with Phazon, Isidru, and Cody Travis. They went out double Lance and then I mean, have Phazon go Gauntlets and then... They still lost. Like yeah, I mean, they still lost, I, but like I don't think it's up for us to decide because I do think the goal is entertainment. Yeah. Well, I, I, but but let's say it is up to us to decide. Yeah. Just for the fun of it, that's what we're doing. Um, uh, I I would be about sh- I'd, I'd yeah. Be about I would three v threes because if I it's like relegated this. to only the finals and yeah. like what happened with or tiebreakers. Uh, well, I think tiebreakers could be with Go- could be Gobi's idea. Uh, just tiebreakers just decide who moves on to finals. Um, yeah, I think if it's only in the finals, I, I'd be fine with that. Although, if as we were... A view- like, as a viewer. 
if we if there were to be an extended pro series, I'd rather it not just be first team gets out. I'd rather it be top two gets out, and then oh, there's like yeah, a, yeah. a bracket, a yes. top four bracket, <laughs> okay, okay, the, okay. the match for three third place or something. Okay, so we kind of uh, let's just move on to format. I think. Yeah, yeah. So okay, in okay. review, we talked about crew battles. We liked where it is if it was a best of three of crew battles. Two v twos make it into uh, every team needs every team combination needs to win to move on, and that's what we also like, right? So that's the yeah. upgrades that we would do. It would fill in more time, have less filler, and make it a little bit more competitive and have more strategy to it because every team needs to be prepared. So that's ones, that's twos. We went into tiebreaker a little bit. We liked how three v threes is a kind of cool to be a wild card, but should not be a main event. So leave it in there as a counter pick potential. But other than that, don't think too hard about it. Now on the format, boom. Okay, so. I think baseline increased teams amount because of the volatility in Brawlhalla. So I'd say 12 is good, maybe like. So, so three groups. How many per team, though? That's the thing. Do three per three team. I want like three, three per team. Per team? Okay, Ooh, so, so so there's like, there's this thing, right? Because if one person do- doesn't show up, it, it messes up everybody. <laughs> can so, you not swear? I didn't. No, I, no. I'm, no, I'm saying, can you, like, can you not? Well, that, that was unwarranted. What I was about to say was unwarranted. <laughs> I'm asking if I sense. can say. Yeah, you can say uh, whatever you want. Okay. A, a, a PP yeah, yeah. word. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. So if one person doesn't show up, it screws up, screws the entire team. I think a substitute of, su- like, who is not in the pro series already, like, who would never have been in it, is okay. So, like, if I wanted to take Joke Down or something as my substitute, I think that'd be okay. So there'd be, like, a pool of possible subs that you could draw from? But the thing is, would you have it just as, this is your only sub, or would you have it as whoever's there at the time that you need to pick that sub up, you can pick them up on your team? Oh. And what if, let's say, someone like Sandstorm, who gets really good in the middle of the year, comes up? One guy could just not show up, and you're like, all right, I'm taking Sandstorm. Yes, yeah, subs uh, are a huge, controversial realm of, like... Yeah, uh, no, oh, I, so, I, like, subs just thing, replace no. someone on the main roster? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, you have to and, designate your sub before the season starts, right? But then that sucks, because if you designate the sub, what if they actually want to play on a team? You know? No, like, no, I, I, mean, I mean, you pick someone after all the teams have been made. Then you can pick someone on your team. Do they get any sub. credit if they're never even subbed in? Do they get like a part of the team earnings for being available all the time? I don't. I don't that's not my duty. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, that's something think to think about. We're talking about it, right? Well, because I mean, now you're essentially just you're just arguing four person teams instead of three person teams. Well, yeah, because yeah, that's at that point. Why not make it four and then have a specialty pick? Where if one person's really good at twos, you can just keep them in the two v twos and then have it to where your three main people can go in once. Yeah. Having having a sub available, but then like it's just kind of like, oh yeah, you get some time if whatever it happens to work out, but you don't get any credit. It really does not sit well with me. Uh, I think that it would have to be a lot more uh, planned out. And at that point, you're just saying mm-hmm. that you have. A four-man roster, not a three-man roster. So, well, we can like look at other team games for examples, right? So, league does it. They have one position sub, right, mm-hmm. for international events. Overwatch League, six players play in the game, but you can have twelve-man rosters. I think that's yeah. a bit of a stretch for Brawl, a six-man roster. <laughs> like, you... but but also these people are are salaried or yeah, or they're full time. Yeah, yeah, even even the subs. Yeah. And well, when it's not international, League of Legends has way more than one sub. Yeah, they have like Cloud Nine rosters. had the Jensen Sven uh, Golden Golden Glue Blabber thing. Yeah, but and that and that wasn't even allowed at international. But yeah, well they made an know, exception, but yeah. they, they did because you know Riot loves North America. But yeah. the, the point is, is uh, yeah, all great examples, but also places where it's different. They're getting, they're, they're getting compensated. Yeah, definitely. And, also, and it's none just, of those are fighting games. Yes. That's well, we're true. kind of breaking yeah. the mold of fighting games anyway. Yeah, that, that, that is also a good point. That's why this is such a cool conversation because I think this is yeah. the only fighting game that has the opportunity for a pro series because Very. it values twos as much as ones. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, but that's some big. Bro- I, ooh. I, I think the topic of subs <laughs> is like no, I don't like subs. Okay. Well, well then unless it was like a sub show up. So so maybe here's here's the. Here's my son and idea. You don't have subs dedicated to teams. You have yeah, cool. a sub roster 
of yeah, five to seven people who are volunteers who understand they get nothing and are on call for any team. Yeah. And it's a that, first come first so served be, and the, be, and team. it's a first come first served and the team doesn't get to pick the sub. Ooh. Oh, just so the sub on? just whoever gets there. Whoever's available at the time get subbed in if you really want to do subs i wouldn't want it to make it a team thing because that's just collusion all over the place it's like a... I, yeah i can yeah. see the potential for collusion yeah so okay i'm not sure if i agree with that so i like the idea of sub pool uh I if they were if we were to go it's, for it's hard i i don't yeah. it's an easy answer to it because it's just like in the nba there's always a free agent market even season to pick up yeah. players if a player, person gets injured or something yeah absolutely mm. it's hard like there were no issues with the pro- well, like it came we got close. Lucky. It came Near, close. Cody, yeah. Cody it Travis so with the close. surgery. Yeah, so there were like a few instances, and like the person left the Discord. That that was. Crazy. Oh yeah, that was, that was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, also, was like yeah. I had like scheduling stuff. Yeah, I almost missed it twice. And it just so happened that everybody was able to conveniently schedule around the time block. Like yeah. we could have like teams play when they get home. Like, yeah, so yeah. real honestly, so, it was a miracle that so, it worked out. So it realistically, was, really realistically, was. then is this on the table until we can be full time? Well, Oof. one of the main things was school. So if there's a summer session, then that's yeah, that's good. Yeah, during the but, summer is a completely different story. That's but also pretty much available except for jobs. But also, yeah, look at the summer, summer though. I have my yeah, that's calendar true, of events. So there's Summer's Dallas, packed. and then there's Summer, and then there's CEO, and then there's Low Tier City, like, and that's like every other week for the next two months. Yeah, yeah. So and not not this room. summer, but like, well, well okay. Summer. So so I, mm, actually, that's not really a good example. I was gonna say like almost all the people that are at the top right now are gonna be out of school, or at least like in college. But what about up and coming players? Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I it's said tough. it was a bad it, example. It's a, uh, it's weird when you think about it. It's just a complicated situation. We're like spinning a league for a game that doesn't, that like is not centered around the league. If that makes sense, like we don't have yeah. salaried players where that's their full time job. Uh, and we made it work for season zero or season one, whatever you want to call it. But... You could do, you could do, um, uh, what? And this, I already know this is going to get shot down. You could do a thing where players play on their own no. time, and you have replays, and you cast the replays. Oh, that is that's not Probably. it. That's, yeah, not, that's it. not it. That's not that, it. It's just I already know that's not it. But that's like me thinking. Well, makes it easier in production, but not really what anybody wants. What we just don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> that, that could be it. I mean, back before StarCraft Two was really big it's with production. I know that some of the biggest casting channels was based off of them having pros send in their replays, and they would cast the replays as if it was live and uploaded. That was a thing for a very long time. We're very lucky to not have to do that. So, um, again, goal is competitive integrity versus entertainment. Just shoot competitive integrity out the window. Full replays. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. No. All right. 100%. Forget that I said replays. Okay. It was a thing. So uh, I'm on board. So I think let's go. So I th- okay. I think um We're just making it a pro wrestling we call it pro bro hall instead. <laughs> yeah. The B H the the B oh wait no that I can't getting into acronyms with a few of those letters is real spicy. I'm gonna I'm gonna relax with that one. Okay. Anyways, I think um the game I can compare like what I'm seeing potentially come out with the most is Rocket League and. So main one of the biggest things is like they also have three players on a team, and True. also they are pretty grassroots in how it started up. They yeah. had like a year or like two years of. Did they only tournaments. recently get picked up by Epic? I think, but up yeah, until that mean, point, they yeah. were their own thing. Yeah, we yeah, we don't talk about the Epic thing, Just anyways. Keep going. So they had like three or four seasons of well, they call it RLCS until they had like major interest from orgs and i think one of the biggest things uh that brahala doesn't have that a lot of the orgs and games or like that a lot of the games which have interest do have is in-game things to support yeah. Yeah. we were kind of talking about it earlier but like change the teams from colors to actual things 
are we are we transitioning topics to marketing now? I have a lot to say about marketing. Well, yeah. Well, 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 well actually, 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 marketing. yeah. Well, I have some other things to say about the format. Okay. So yeah, let's finish up format first. So we got okay. to the point where like we were talking about how we like the crew battles and the two v twos and the tiebreaker, uh, and then we were talking about subs and how subs are a big touchy area. Okay. Uh, what else did you have to bring up about format? So what do you guys think about the team increase? The 12. I don't think it's like possible. It. More opportunity for more people to play, especially players that didn't make it that should have made it. Ideal world, yes. I don't know if it's possible. Think, would it be maybe 10? Would it be groups of three teams? No, I think you could just make it like a. Like you a, can't do three groups of four. Yeah, you, you do two groups of groups. six. Oh, okay. four make it out. Okay. Eight person, I mean, that, eight person big, region. Eight team region attorney. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, but actually, if in. if we if like we go back to what Boomy suggested, where each week is a different game mode, that would be that make it that, easier to time. Yeah, yeah that would be easier to increase the number. You do three like three matches every day, and assuming you have two days still, then you have six teams play each day. I I think that works honestly. And then at the end, you take the top four teams from each group. You have them play in like a seated tournament. Or something along those lines. And then the top four teams make it to... Okay, this is kind of like jumping, but make it to like an international LAN or something with the EU teams. Yeah, EU top I four really teams. I about that. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's, like, like, that's a grand cool. vision. Yeah, that, that's the, those are the lofty expectations. Uh, my immediate concern is... Yeah. My, yeah. my immediate concern oh, is, do we, have, do we have enough players for that? For 12 we teams? Do. We, we definitely have yeah, for both regions. There's definitely thirty six people that we. Yeah, can there's thirty six people that yeah. can contest. Okay, and it's also a team thing. It's not like thirty six players have to beat the best players. The th the thing is, is that the more teams there are, the worse the imbalance gets that we talked about at the very beginning. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, so we, there would definitely have to be a change to how things are drafted, unless we just want to make it so that it's just people get to choose who they want to play with, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, um, going going into even having a draft is going to be a whole different topic. In so, itself. what about what a this just came up? Maybe it was never talked about before. What about having it so that there are so how many teams did you say you wanted there to be? Twelve. Oh, also, so the more, you just sorry, have the top just twelve have seeds. Yeah, twelve seeds invited, and there's no draft. The twelve seeds are just told to find two other players, and it's first come first serve. Whoever gets in, and then it's just whoever agrees to play with who. And then you don't have to worry about a draft. You don't have to worry about inviting thirty six people. You just have to worry about these twelve players finding two other people to play with them in the league. So here, here's the thing: is that that could be a thing if it, it's so viewer driven of like being invested in each team, and yeah. then the more you increase the number of teams, the more cluttered it is. The less that's also like the harder it is to follow everything that's going on. There's just so much flying around. So I do think that's actually a huge thing. Is that eight is a really nice number? I think ten, possibly, but I do think twelve is too much. Okay, so just as a casual viewer to follow all that. So I have I, a, I have another idea. So keep it eight, but just delete the group thing. Make every team play each other once. That, that's what I wanted to do originally. Make, that's what I thought it was going into. And then the top six go into like the tournament or whatever, or like top four or something like that. It would be top four. Yeah. It would be top four. I think so. Top six so one big group. Yeah. One group, one big group of eight. So a round robin to see who gets into the. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think I think a top four would be if the 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 bracket was single limb, top six if the bracket was double. Yeah, double limb, top six. With, with, with the bottom six, obviously starting a losers bracket. And that's so if we if we do the one game mode per week, that would be what? That would be eight weeks. You're playing every Seven team. Weeks. Well, Seven we did, weeks. It, it, well, we could do how we are doing it now in the situation. That where is it's one, where it's one team per week. One and then yeah. Oh, go ahead. And then so I actually like that. And then it doesn't have the issue of having to spread the players so thin. Yeah. And, and also, what, and then what about the idea of just only draft, only inviting captains, and then not worrying about draft? Just I mean, be... that's kind of what happened. Oh, but you're saying like PR. But it here. would be invited that way. Boomy and Sandstorm can't be on the same. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah. Although that would suck for Boomy because that's his two's partner. Yeah, so now I... I'm saying the issue with that idea. That's yeah. it's just hard. I yeah. So it's kind of my view of it is obviously different because like I am the at the top, but I wouldn't. Yeah. 
I would not enjoy myself playing if I didn't, if I wasn't allowed to play with the person that I compete yeah. in tournaments with. No, I think that goes without saying for everybody. Yeah. But you see, the you were talking about earlier how you want the pro series to be its own separate thing. So yeah. even though you do play with Sandstorm in twos in other tournaments like online tournaments and LAN events, in pro series you may not have that opportunity if we decide to go into a draft where you, Sandstorm could be chosen before you. Oh, uh, but then that gets into the difficulty of team identity. And then, you want and, team identity. You want team identity to transfer in between yeah. seasons. Yeah, like, and the whole thing about marketing individual players is like you market Boomy as well, whatever. Yeah, because then because then it would be Mountain team Boomy. Team. It wouldn't be team Black. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. scratch what I said is off. I'm glad we, I brought it up, but no, not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm on board with you, Taza. With everything that you scrap, I'm picking it up. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Egg. I appreciate that. Can we talk I mean, about I replays think... again? No, we're not bringing up the replays. I think I like it. I think it's healthy to bring up bad ideas so that you never have to think about them. No, I, I agree. I don't mean to I'll be, be like, that person on you for it. Um, I'm usually the one. I'm usually <laughs> that person. Yeah. No. Um, but no, the format. Talk about Orlando. legend bands. What? Okay. Really? Oh no, I don't. <laughs> even even I wouldn't. Okay. Even I wouldn't mention that. That that's that's like taboo in fighting game. Uh, world. No, don't do that. One group of eight, though. Might be better. No. Avoids the issue of, of player drought. Bottom two get relegated. Yeah. Bro. Dude, make it just go into Brawlhalla franchising. Yeah. Eh. Ooh, that's very far down. But it's a good transition to talk about marketing. Ooh. Yeah. So, well, that, that, that's what the opportunities were brought up with, right? We, there weren't too many huge risks taken with how were they naming the teams. It wasn't called Team Boomy or Team Egg Soup. We chose colors, the teams identified with the colors, and that was it. I was thinking maybe it could have been taken a step further. It could have been, instead of Team Red, it was like the team, like the, the red cannons, and then you had the blue guitars, and you yeah. had like the yellow scythes. Like so, you could have like weapon themes along with it so that they had an emblem to identify with, and then you and could have avatars like avatars in game. Yeah, and, and that way you had an avatar. image with it instead of just a solid block color. Like just buy yeah. a yellow avatar. And it's I think that yellow. is like a future plan, but like just having like imagine you can buy a like mm. a red team, whatever red tiger avatar, in game, and you rep it. Or actually, you don't buy it with gold. You buy it with Twitch coins you, that you get from watching. It's like Overwatch League. You watch the stream, you get in-game coins, and you can rep your team. Taza's frowning. It's sad Thanks. because like the idea is so good, but it is. You can't do it unless you're exclusive with Twitch. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and that just I'm I'm thinking because before Brahalla was only streaming on Twitch, and now yeah. Brahalla's streaming like on everything. Yeah. So I'm thinking that actually just unhappened. Yeah. But I'm not I'm not sure. But I right. I don't think YouTube would be happy with. Put it on my channel then. Versus, or, oh, put it on your <laughs> channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the solution but honestly um, though like exclusive esports currency down the line is like so so good and like team does any and, other does anybody else do that overwatch rocket does league, really well rocket oh. league like th- that happened this season they have like c9 decals and c9 cars and c9 oh like, that's what you mean reels yeah. and shit yeah hmm. so good i mean and it's proven that i can do it with like because the the Mountain Dew haunt. Dude, that was revealed. Actually, yeah. That's huge! That's so yeah, big! That's so big it's really, Brahala. it's very big. Mountain Dew is like not a small name. I mean, what was the last sponsor I saw Mountain Dew get picked up? I, I Coincidentally, StarCraft 2 GSL this year just happened. So Mountain Dew is really dipping into all the gaming things that they can find. Um, and that's like big. But also showing that, yes, you can have, you know, outside of Brawlhalla universe related <laughs> stuff in it. So we can bring in another org and put their thing in. Yeah. yeah. Oh. There's a lot that can be done. There's a lot that should be done. But in three years, not a lot has been done. Which kind of, which is kinda of sad. And I, I don't well, I mean think that. it's all starting to be done. That's yeah. What, that's what this conversation's coming from, right? But, is that, like Pro Series is now happening. What else that, could that's true. I like I don't mean to Obviously, devs very busy. Got a lot to do. Got to keep yeah. the lights on and and everything. But Movie I do patches. think there's, there's like, ah, 
Like, we, we were talking about viewer count in pro le- pro series, and like it 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 was good, but I mean, I don't know. It, it could have been a lot better. It's not really a huge dramatic increase from last year or the year before, and I think with prize pools being like doubled and quadrupled, but viewer counts not matching that like whatsoever. Makes me, makes me I'm, trying, I'm trying to find the, the crux of your argument. What was the... Can you summarize what you just said? So you're saying marketing. that, like, like marketing isn't doing enough to re- to, to bolster the... Like, the viewer count's growing, but not at the rate that it needs to be growing? I, like, I don't, I don't know how much it is growing. Like, maybe it... Maybe, I don't have the raw numbers, but it... Let me see. It seems like BCX 2017 had, like, a few thousand, maybe like, 6,000, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. BCX 2018 was similar. I don't know. Yeah, I think I it's a live viewership. A I think the YouTube viewership is looking really good. YouTube for, is like growing, like like really for for the competitive stuff too. Um, I think it's yeah. Fantastic. I don't know. I think there's a lot that can be done in game. I think that's the main thing. Is a big in game button, and we have the panel. But that yeah. panel blends into everything else. Yeah, yeah, and you don't really notice individual. It's hard to find. Yeah, you don't notice it. It's, you click on it, and then there's a series of sub menus after that that you have to click. It's a whole thing. I yeah, think. it's like a, it's like going through like a Windows File Explorer. Like you're trying to find like five yeah. folders down, and then you get there, and then you're like, most people aren't going to go that far. The more work that you have to do, the less likely anyone is to do it. Yeah, you just got to make it as easy, easy as possible. I keep bringing up Overwatch as this like prime example, and maybe Overwatch League isn't the best thing ever, but. In game, what they have is when the season's going on, they have their standard UI menu, which is like great. It's one of the best UIs I've seen, especially I think Brahalla compared to it. It's like night and day for the main menu. That's another thing. Uh, when Overwatch League is going on, they have like a little bar that says Overwatch League, and it's got a little red box that says Live. You click on it, and boom, you're watching Overwatch League, and that, yeah. that's it. It's so like you want to click that button. It's it's nice and red. I've yeah. got the. Uh, I'm not that bright. I, I see red. I just want to click it. Sure, sure. And then I get my tokens, and then I can wear the New York team's clothing in game. It's right, like it all comes right, full right. circle. And then you learn about all the things that you could be earning while doing the thing that you were going to yeah. do anyways, and you want to do it more, etc. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I think I think in game marketing is huge. I mean, to a certain extent, I'm not a marketing guy, but probably something on youtube can really really be honed in on because i think that's a big place to grow but oh uh, yeah they need to i don't want to say need but i think they should start uploading vods way way faster i know they have like uh some like algorithm or something there's like some number that's telling them that like the spaced out way is better i think like that's my understanding Mm of it but i feel like Uploading it as quickly as possible after it happens will help the viewer actually feel engaged and maybe with like a pro series because they didn't start uploading the NA VODs until, until like EU now. started, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they, at, so um, they can't yeah. even catch it if they wanted to. They couldn't catch it live if they wanted to because it's nope. over. Right, so, and, and if they were uploading it as it was happening, they'd be like, I want to watch the next thing. Where do I find it? Oh, it's on Twitch. You not go. gonna go why would i click there that's a whole nother thing and then yeah, you yeah. on the twitch there's an ad playing you're like all right i'm clicking off uh right, so i think... make it more accessible to people who actually may have missed a day and then they, yeah they wanted to they catch it and they don't know that's on twitch then they can find it on youtube i some think people they could need be a watching it through youtube oh, yeah that's true uh, i think they mentioned uh you guys mentioned this in the commentary episode a lot of people are watching this on youtube with no knowledge that it's on twitch mm-hmm like, yeah yep yeah. yeah. And um, also, some of them thinking yeah. when it's uploaded is when it is happens. when it's live. Yeah, and that that was the most bizarre part to me is, and I was looking at the comment sections on some of them, and they were like, "I want to see what happens next." And I was like, "Well, this happened two months ago." Yeah, and, 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 but it's being uploaded now. Is there's I'm exaggerating. I don't have two months in particular, but the distance. No, is I know what you're long. saying. So um, I think, just like first and foremost, I sound like I'm, I'm like presenting an essay. I don't know what I'm talking. <laughs> They need yeah, a VOD ahead. channel. They need to upload every single match on yeah. a VOD channel. I know back in the day, I had... the Gravy Kids archives. Yes. And, exactly. and what I did with archives, exactly. I would spam some people's inboxes with 26 uploads, and then I would get some DMs that was like, 
could you please not do that? If it hurts my subscription box, it's like, well, don't subscribe to it. This is for people that want to watch. Yeah, but, it's not about a channel you sub to. It's a channel you look out for, and you're like, all right, I'll yeah. look at this match, and then you look on it. But I think the, VG the Bootcamp is, recently did that too. Where they split up into three VG different Bootcamp channels. archives. Yeah, yeah, the ultimate, the the highlights. They have the highlight channel, and so I think the Brahala, The problem is obviously you're starting a fresh new channel from a channel with like whatever hundred thousand subs. I don't know how many Brahala has, and you're missing out on all the potential viewers. But you're going to be missing, like, the amount of viewers that you're missing out on in the present, just because you're so, like, you're worried about the algorithm messing up and people's sub box being spammed, you're not, you're not just missing out on viewers who might watch those sets. You're, like, leaving out the history of the game. Yeah. The history of the scene. That's so important to preserve. Mm -hmm. and, because if somebody starts talking about a sick match uh, that happened between Tiffany and, and Wilson or whatever, and they're like, really? And you go on YouTube to look for it, and it's not there. It's not there. Because I know oh, that's what's yeah. awesome. Gimmer is fantastic. He uploads things after instantly. they happen live. Literally instantly. So, like, if somebody's talking about this crazy stuff that happened between Mango and HBox and how Winter Semis, Mango, why did you search it? And it's already there. Boom, done. Obviously, there's a lot more work that goes into that, but it's like. No, Gimmer's a hero. Yeah. We, we, why, not, why not have that within a day? That's just yeah. something to think about. Super off topic. No, I mean, it's, it's on topic. Off. That it is, is on topic. That is important. It goes. It goes to the marketing stuff. Uh, there's just like all those little things that could be doing that could increase the viewership by five, ten. Oh, little little things. Another thing is that every single tourney vod upload has the, the same thumbnail. thumbnail. Oh lord, dude, it, they, it's I, like a very attractive thumbnail, but it's like they need to change the colors or the background or something. Are you talking every, about for pro series specifically? No. For any match, it has the same exact thumbnail, and then only in the tiny like bottom left hand corner does it say the name the tournament yeah oh that's and, and kind of disgusting. You, you can't even see it in the in the title most of the time before you click yeah. on it because mm -hmm. the names are too long mm -hmm. yeah well yeah that's just that's a small thing that could make a huge difference for, Agreed. Just, for just transparency i think just anybody glancing uh because yeah. that's what you want to think about right most people are just clicking through things and looking and if they can't read it, they're not going to go, like, enhance, right? They're just going to move well, on. At least put the tourney name in the title, like, before you put the names. Because most yeah. of the time, the names are in the title, like, in the thumbnail. You can see the, the players or the legends, and then you'll be like, oh, okay, this person plays this legend. But you, if you can't see the tournament, you you could possibly think that it's a replay that happened months ago. You're not going to click on it. Or something yeah. you've already watched. Or or you just don't know what it is. It's yeah. just confusing. Well, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And for a casual viewer that doesn't follow the tournament scene, you're just looking at all these thumbnails, and it's like they all look the same, and you're just clicking individual matches, Here. and you're not following the tournament either. Oh, that's another thing. It doesn't like chron 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 chronologically. Chronologically. Yeah, it doesn't go chronologically. It's like winners finals, then like losers finals of another tournament. Oh, and then, like, I didn't know. Winners semis of the same tournament. Yeah, that's it's weird. Like, and then <laughs> I don't think that is There's the no problem timeline. anymore. I don't think. Oh, anyway, anymore. I, I haven't so, caught up in a while. But. So, so boom has got something. What I'm looking yeah. at right now is last last year, Autumn Champs had an exclusive background, and it was like like leaves, like brown leaves. Oh yeah, it BCX, looks good. BCX had like the thingy. I don't remember what it's called. Like the art calamari pop did as the background. But then and then so did. DreamHack Winter had like a unique one. Then everything after that has been the exact same. I yeah. I don't know why they changed it. This is like insane. It's like like Though, you I really like the Autumn Chance one. It looks yeah, really good. All of these look really good. I don't know why they changed it. Hmm. I I mean it like it is work you have to put in. It, like everything that we're saying, I don't want to like we're I don't want yeah, for us to come off as it, ungrateful yeah. or anything. But we're just saying like it can be better. Yeah. And obviously there's a lot of work and having one thumbnail streamlines a lot. All you have to do is change the names and the legends. But that being said, I mean. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's time spent and time's a resource and all of those yeah. stuff. And it, it may have been like, a, it could be a number of things. But I guess what, what the summary there is what you were saying was you liked that, like you could scroll down and you could see like all of this is for something. And then all and of this is in for a group. something. Yeah. And, then, and then that changed one day. And now it's hard to tell what anything is for anything. And I think, maybe like, this is just a theory. So if you look at 
the stark difference is with Boomy Sandstorm sets, the view count on those sets oh versus God. other sets, those will always exist. And that's just like going to be a thing. But if every thumbnail is the same and it's like completely different tournaments, why as a viewer will you have any desire to click the one that's like completely irrelevant to the Boomy Sandstorm set? Right. Like if you're watching a tournament on Twitch yeah. and you watch Boomy Sandstorm play and they they win their set, it goes on to the next set. You're probably going to watch the next set too. But if it's on YouTube, you watch a set, and the next set queued up is from a completely different tournament, you're probably not going to watch it. And then you're probably not going to be invested in those players. Those pl- And it'll just continue. Boomy and Sandstorm, the big names will keep getting bigger, and the smaller names won't get the recognition that they need, the recognition they deserve. I don't know. Well, just, that's just a theory. That, but, that, I think that's like a... I think the smaller names will get bigger as the results get better. Right? And that's well, another thing too. The why do view they results are why? from like winners finals of the of like the EU champs, oh. and it's like Here, yeah, yeah. under Here, 10k versus 20k. Here, okay. so winners finals March of Legends Sandstorm versus Boomy has 58k views. Uh, where's the winners? Winners finals Knees versus Mach- Machette has only 21k. 58 compared to 21 is insane. Well, actually, I don't think that's that bad. That's not it, that like, bad. It's not like Boomy Sandstorm. Like those obviously want to see. But, oh yeah, okay, here's here's a like, better one. There are examples. 60k versus 8.3k. For... And they're back-to-back, right? Yeah, and they're back-to-back. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's another thing. It, it's just fatigue, I think, too, when you see the same thumbnail over and over and over again. Yeah. But Yeah, that's... this is bad. We started out talking about Pro Series. What happened? Well, it, I, it went into marketing about it. Yeah, marketing, uh, marketing. is a generalized topic. And we did, yeah. and we did, we did talk about... And maybe this has to go into another episode another day, because uh, the idea was that we were talking about uh, Pro Series has all these things they can do. This format leads to a lot of opportunities for in-game cosmetics and other things, but there needs to be more visibility for it if it need if it is going to happen again and if it is going to be bigger. And then we talked about visibility, and then we talked about how things are happening on YouTube and on Twitch, and then we got to there. So, so yeah, that that just made me think, I think everything comes back to marketing because the number one thing that is valued or, or that, that would help is in-game stuff. I think that's just like flat out in-game stuff will help them. That's where most of the players are. This is but it's true. not worth all it the players are. to make all... The... <laughs> I don't think no. it's worth it to put in all this dev time towards something that won't yield a huge result. Like mm-hmm. Spending all the time that could have been spent making a new character, making skins for red team that avatars, character. black team avatars for yeah. seven hundred viewer event. Because their artists are probably like that. That's wrong. Is like eighty percent. Yeah, on the, their the artists are like. I mean, all the devs are working really, really yeah. hard. So obviously, what we're asking for is kind of unreasonable. But it does come back to marketing because if it is worth their time, then they could do it, and that would just feed the cycle and make it even bigger. So, but I don't know what the answer is. Like, yep. I don't know how to make it worth it. Yep, and I think that's outside of our stuff and yeah. also outside of the topic or the scope of this of the podcast, but it's a really interesting point because it does tie in to Pro Series and how, like, we have this amazing thing now that could be even more amazing with uh, a little bit more ingredients. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that does it for marketing so far. I think we touched on some things where it's like, these are the things that we liked that we saw. These are the things that we didn't like. Boomy, did you have another topic about Pro Series that you think we didn't touch? But I think we went over, like, how it went for NA, the format, the different things that could change, some of the challenges. I don't think we had solutions for everything. Obviously, we it's harder than that, right? Like like, like subs and things. But yeah. was there anything yeah. else that you wanted to talk about that I could think of? I think something that's interesting, and maybe this is, like, kind of just curveball, but there were only four, three sets out of hold on let me do this math out of 24 25 that w- didn't go as they were projected in the entire na pro series oh yeah that's a big there topic were three I upsets out of 25 I was, I was very worried that by the end and you could you can see this by going do you have the brawlhalla.com yeah i have a pro series yeah so you could just look every and team on the left is and there's a seed a scary moment where you were like, oh no, we had, wasn't it like after week two, it was just 4-0 for everybody? Yeah, 4-0 and 0-4. Yeah. 
yeah, it was scary to where it's like, oh, jeez, is this the skill disparity? Is it just this big of a thing? I felt like that had more to do with the topic of like choosing the players, like your also, friends, and like the top players. fought the bottom first. So that was also. Yeah, I don't. I feel they need to mix that up. I think. I think ending with the top fighting the top is good. It's the best, yeah. But, but need it to enter, be like top versus time. middle and then branch yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, and that, that would be easier too with with having not every team play on the same day. Yeah. Yeah. And then also having a rematch of like making it so that you have to fight each team twice instead of once. So yeah. that you have the chances to mix that up. Yeah. How long, how so I don't like how long has this been going on for? podcast when do you guys have to is there a time where you guys have to end oh we no. literally we've done like we 50 minute episodes and three hour episodes just whatever we're okay. talking it's unless it's... you need to go then we can no it's just it late i like i don't want to talk to you for more than an hour taza well, <laughs> it's natural <laughs> I, I get that response from everybody we're definitely Look, you got a better green screen than me okay yeah that's true yeah, it's not even it's not even done right now. No, we we're trying something different every time. Like we've tried okay. some really super structured podcasts, and oh, we've those tried are so bad. Oh my these last two, with the boys. But these last two, we winged a bit, and I also don't totally like it. I would like to have a very minimal outline next time we do something, so that we don't tangent too much. Why well, tangents are like yeah. where you actually they get are fun. Stuff. They are fun. I actually I think that it makes some really good discussion. So maybe it's not so bad. I mean, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. Go be. Too been chilling out with us a little bit i feel like it's like there wasn't too many things to, to chime in lately but um I've been big smiling this entire time oh me too i hate you guys oh my god <laughs> just like you get hate lo-fi of, hip-hop get during out of my... your recordings no i actually hate that oh my god <laughs> <laughs> if you guys yeah, didn't like... me i wouldn't be here no. oh yeah <laughs> No, um, it just holds a stone cold face. Actual, I, I, I think I think we're nearing the end of this particular podcast. No, no, if no, that's no, what no. you're wondering, no, 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 no. no, I was just curious. I like I'm I'm sitting here. I'm almost down this entire bag. So I wasn't even sure what you were eating the entire time. Yeah, but I, what were you Not eating? Me neither. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So, but yeah, you're talking about the the team scores this. being odd. Um, yeah. That's a thing. Well, you see, I think that also chimes into the fact that we need to change the what you what we were talking about earlier. How the ones and twos need to be like a longer, like a best yeah. of three, so that it's not just like especially that for group battles. I, I actually thing. think that would make it happen more. Despite I, all I, of our I discussions, was, I had times where I was playing. I was like, oh, I, if I had one more game, I know oh, it brings back. Yeah. yeah. Like if yeah. I have one more t- chance to beat this guy, I can do it. I know I can because now I figured it out. I'm, I'm my turning nerves calmed. Like that extra opportunity is huge, especially for the upsets that you really want. Yeah. So really, yeah. most of everything that we talked about can be summarized to let's try best of threes in crew battles, and let's it's try awesome. each team has to win in be- in in two v twos, and just see what happens. Because yeah. that might actually make results a lot more diverse and actually just lead to an even more exciting viewing experience. Was well, that what you want, though? Don't you want a certain team to win a lot and then almost lose? Like, mm, everyone wants to see the best. I don't think so. I actually just want to see what happens. Yeah, I mean... And that's interesting. I, I, so that. another I, thing, I never want to expect a result. Go ahead, Boomer. Another thing is, like, one of the biggest issues with this format is the top team was not close to the uh, like two of the teams that they played in their group. So it was either two with six and seven or one with five and eight, which realistically isn't going to be close regardless. And increasing it to one big pool would make it so that one at least has to play two, three, and four. Two, three, so that can yeah. actually – so upsets can more realistically happen as opposed then, to – yeah, with the best of three change, there's up the possibility of the six, seventh, and eighth seed coming out and pulling out. Not, maybe not a double upset where they win ones and twos, but just at least taking one. Or oh, and or just the bottom four could potentially ruin the seed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another thing that causes upsets is like the top seeded team. That they don't they don't think that they're gonna need to like prepare as much for the bottom seeded teams. And then the other, like, the bottom-seeded teams can just, like, put their hearts into practicing and then cause, like, a huge upset. And yep. and another oh, thing about that is that in that situation, 
it doesn't mean as much for the top seed team, but it can mean a ton for the lower seed team. Which because of it, yeah, um, not only the that, placements but also bigger prize too. That, that's actually something I totally forgot about. Each game, yeah. each game meant so much because only one mm-hmm. team made it out. I mean, yeah. I guess we kind of did talk about it, but yeah, yeah. But I guess uh, it would be a bigger thing. Go ahead, Gobi. With what you want to do, where you make it just one big pool where everybody kind of goes, uh, everybody plays each other, that's where you also have the count is if they end up losing a set or losing a game, if a tiebreaker occurs, we can go by record. Yeah. Like if you don't lose a single game uh, or a single set. Yeah. That, that, that presents a, well. like a bunch of issues. Whenever it's round robin, there's always going to be issues of tiebreakers and like seating and like throwing sets to whatever oh, th- oh that's another okay. that's another topic we're, 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 let's not get into that today that's not actually a whole podcast yeah, yeah, yeah let's not, let's uh, not talk about round that. robin but <laughs> yeah, yeah the tiebreaker is always a thing we're we're, not, we're we're talking about perfect world bro hollow right now which is that yeah. yeah i think the three things that we touched on that i really like is one big group of eight teams uh crew battles go from just being a best of one to a best of three format not like a bunch of 1v1s but like you just have three or two to three crew battles. And then the 2v2s, you have each team needs to win. That's on the team. So like I do need, like the 2v2 one. I you, really you, like you, the you have, have a group of two. One. See, it's like Boomy and Remy has to win a game. Sandstorm and Remy have to win a game. Boomy and Sandstorm have to win a game. And that yeah, way, yeah, it's yeah. the first yeah. team to to have a win for each one of their teams yeah. the victory. Instead and of then most- you could have those potential reverse sweeps, and it's still in a best yeah. of five <laughs> format, and it fills the time. And the commentators don't have to say, well, if they send out A and B, then they have to send out B and C, and then yeah. A and C, and then all they have to say is every team has to win once. Boom. Yep. So who's t- what team's coming out against who? And yeah. then you get the you get the cool counter pick analysis that you get yep. for crew battles, but you also get it with two That's what I want. Boom. That's what I want. I want to be able to watch a stream and be like, all right, if they send out this team, this team they can't like the the next team they have to beat could be this team, and then just the the whole strategy just as a viewer would be so intriguing. Especially as the people that, at a high level, you get to the point where you're watching game point, you're like, eh, yeah, it's just all the players doing stuff and yep. five players doing stuff, and <laughs> and it, and it felt really bad that. because I could notice the teams that didn't prepare, like Remy Sandstorm, those those yeah. two, didn't. maybe Booby might be able to confirm otherwise, but it felt like I was watching two people that never played together play on the same team, and it didn't matter because you only had to have Boomy and Remy and Sandstorm and Boomy win, yeah, so. Uh, I think that actually is a good place to stop talking about Pro Series. I think we have brought up a lot of other topics for future episodes, but for now, I think we're good. Yeah. Um, Can we talk about my haircut now? I really need no. one. Yeah, go get one. I need to get one. <laughs> I'm going to get one before the Mountain Dew thing this weekend. Hey, watch that. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah, right. Yeah. Everyone's going to be When here. is that? Next week? It's yeah, this week. Next week. This week. Okay. Is it next? Oh, God. Is it only Saturday? Oh. Yeah, it's Saturday. It's gonna be Sunday in three minutes, bro. Yeah, you guys are bro. central. Central. We're central. central. Yeah, central time. Yeah. yeah. Wow, all three of you. Yeah, you are lesser human beings. I guess. What? No. Why? Okay. Thanks. You're I think you're overreacting thank you. a little bit. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you, Egg. Oh, <laughs> well, we shout out their social media because oh. it's the first time we have guests in a while besides Stike. Follow Dyke them. Is, Follow Silly Gobi on Twitter and Twitch, and. YouTube or something. Follow Egg Soup on <laughs> YouTube. Egg Soup's YouTube's been popping recently. Do we not get to do it ourselves? Do, yeah, do okay. Yourself, Egg, Egg, you tell people what you want them to see about you. And All right. Doesn't. Uh, to everyone that has stayed for the past few hours, um, twitter.com slash part of the creed. Tell them to unban me from his Discord. Please. <laughs> oh my God. Please. <laughs> Please. There's only one thing you take away from this. Okay, one thing. Two things. Number one, replays for Pro Series. Two. <laughs> oh, no. All right, I never said it. Okay, okay. Let's cut them up. All right. Hey, GG's, boys. Unban me from Discord.